Well, there's a reason the judge scheduled this as a two week trial. This was day six. It will now extend into a day seven after the jury indicated that they still have hours more work ahead of them. Asked the judge and he said, OK, they're going to call it quits for the day. They're going to come back and resume deliberations tomorrow. It's been a very long day. This morning was packed with closing arguments and after that, about five hours of deliberations. The jury asked to consider 12 felony charges against the defendant David Crawford, eight counts of attempted first degree murder, three counts of arson and one count of malicious burning. The 71 year old former police chief has been held without bail since his arrest in March 2021. He's charged with arson in six different counties, 12 separate fires dating back to 2011. Four of the fires were in Howard County, and prosecutors are using evidence from all 12 cases to show the jury there's a pattern running through them all that proves he's guilty. You heard testimony from 11 fire victims. Prosecutor Patricia Cecil told the jury in closing arguments, each was the victim of arson. Each of them knew the defendant, and every one of their names appeared on a target list in the defendant's iPhone. All of the fires have commonalities too, she said. The where, when, how, and the why. Revenge, she said, for one-sided, petty, trivial grudges and for the thrill of it. The defense argued that the state did not prove David Crawford set these fires, let alone set fires, quote, to burn up eight people. Defense attorney Robert Bonsib arguing there's no DNA, no fingerprints, no facial identification pointing to Mr. Crawford. And in many cases, Bonsib said there's no motive, which means there's no pattern. And if there's no pattern, there's no proof. Bonsib characterized the crimes as nuisance fires with very limited damage. The rebuttal that came next was fierce. The prosecutor, Scott Hammond, arguing, I don't care about the extent of the damage to these houses. He said the minute he lit that fire, he committed attempted murder, adding just because he's bad at murder doesn't mean he gets a pass. Reporting live from Ellicott City, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.